Hi, in this video, you are going to learn a tip on how to use layered Photoshop files in Cinema 4D using Redshift materials. So, here I have this can drink model which I want to add materials to, and I have a material already designed for it in Photoshop and it's in layers. So, we have the logo on top, there's a logo mask which we we'll use to mask the logo later. We have a background and you have background too, and you can see it's two separate colors. You can go ahead and delete this one because we wouldn't need it. So I'll delete this one and say yes. So we have four different layers which we want to we've combined to use as a material for the can of can drink. So I'll come back to Cinema 4D. I'll double click on the material for the can drink, which is a normal standard redshift material. So I'll double click on it and I'll come to textures and I'll bring in the texture node. Now I'll come to general and click on these three dots to navigate to where our texture is. So I'll find it is the PSD energy one. I'll open it and now I'll just connect it straight to the diffuse color and instantly we have our PSD straight in Cinema, Cinema 4D. I have the redshift um, render view here so click on it and you can see what we have. But sometimes we don't necessarily want the whole design. We want just the background. So for instance, I want to select only the background without the logo and everything. So it's as simple as just come here with the path under it. You can see layer. And if it's a layered PSD file, it will give you the layers down here. So I want just the background. So I'll choose bar only background. And now if I should move it away, you can see what we have now. And see just the background simple as that if you want to change it to any other object you can actually come here and choose the logo and now let's see what we have just the logo so there are some times that you might like you have a PSD file and you want just one particular layer in it you don't necessarily need the whole thing you can actually bring in the PSD and select that one part for it so for instance Let's say a, a texture that you have bump, displacement and everything all in layered in Cinema 4D, normal maps and reflection, everything. You can actually bring it in and layer by layer. So let's go ahead and separate it. So the first one, I'll come here and I'll choose um, background. So I want the background for the first one. So I'll select these two, drag, hold control and drag it down to duplicate it right now we will select this one this texture and call this one uh, choose the logo right now we have to combine the two so to do that i will use the material blend so I think blend a uh, material blender we use that and now we will pipe these materials through the material blender so now the first one the background will be the base and this one will be layer color one and I'll pipe the material blender into the output. So now we have the two, but still it's only the base which is showing. And that's because the material blender layer one, which is the logo is black. So if you should make it white, now the, lo the logo is showing, but meanwhile, we want the logo and the material um, the background material that's where the um layer uh, logo mask comes in so i'll drag hold control and drag this one and leave it now come in here and this one the, instead of the logo we choose logo mask and drag layer one and use for the layer one blend color now instantly it gives us our PSD um, file and accurately the way it, it was in Photoshop for our can this drink. Simple as that. It's very interesting way of doing this thing. And same way, for instance, so one good thing about this thing is because I have another background, for instance, if I don't like this particular color of the background, I can come in here, simply come in here and say, okay, I let me choose background too and see what I and instantly it changes to background two and it's 
we are good to go so you can actually have several designs or several colors or shades of your background whatever and decide to go through it using the photoshop layer system so that like you can actually iterate quickly and get what you you you, you might like it's as simple as that so if you have like let's say this place reflection maps and normal maps and everything you can actually bring them in and blend them and simply with all using one photoshop uh, file and making adv uh, taking advantage of the layers so this is basically how to do this it's quite simple for but let me quickly show you how to do the same thing in, with cinema 4d's default material so I'll go ahead and create a new material and I'll double click to open the material editor here. Now I'll simply um, bring in the same the PSD, PSD energy one and it gives us the same thing. So when you come to you select this particular the texture and you come in here you can see sample and file and layer set. So the layer set is basically the same thing as the redshift layer. So you click on select. Now you see it gives you the same things the redshift material is giving you. So you have the logo, logo mask. So you can actually show layer content here. Check this one, then you can see what's it. So basically, and you can come in and choose the particular object that you want. Okay, and that's what you are going to get. It's quite simple. So that's basically it. How to work with um, layered Photoshop file in Cinema 4D using Redshift or the default Cinema 4D material. See you in the next one.